As things are moving quickly with regards to the Ukraine-Russia situation, I thought I'd give you a quick update as to what's going on as far as I can tell. A video surfaced recently which people were claiming was a nuclear bomb going off in Ukraine. Now don't get me wrong, I'm no viewing nuclear explosions expert, but the way I see it is that if this was a tactical nuclear bomb, then the mainstream media in the West would have a fucking field day. They'd be all over this like a cheap suit. So I don't think it was a nuclear bomb, purely for that reason. It would provide the perfect propaganda scenario for the West and NATO to attack Russia. So what has been happening over the last few days? Despite John Frankenstein Gary saying there's no rift between Europe and America when it comes to the idea of arming Kiev, the German Foreign Minister Steinmeier slammed Washington's strategy for being not only risky, but counterproductive. Nicolas Sarkozy, the former French president, seemed to suggest that he would prefer a relationship with Russia than America. You might ask, what the heck has it got to do with this short geezer? But Sarkozy could possibly become the new French president, now that people have realised that Hollande is a complete EU puppet. Not that Sarkozy is any different, mind you. He's just a different face of the same agenda. Sarkozy said, We are part of a common civilization with Russia, adding, The interests of the Americans and the Russians are not the interests of Europe and Russia. Terrible accent, I know. We've also had Cyprus saying they will allow Russia to use their soil for military facilities. And also, a while ago, we had Greece threaten to veto any new sanctions on Russia. So, in a nutshell, the situation is a right bloody mess. America clearly wants to escalate the situation. Germany think that's the wrong thing to do because they get, I think it's over 50% of their energy from Russia. France look like they want to move closer to Russia and further away from the Americans. And now Cyprus clearly want to cozy up to Russia, offering them access to their country for military purposes. I don't know how this is going to play out, but there doesn't appear to be a huge march for peace. Update over.